everybody, my name is Noor and it was a pleasure to host Michael Johnson, the Head of Business Development at Steinbeis University in Germany. Uh, we hosted him at the iQualify campus here in Islamabad where we had an interactive session with the students as well. We'll be hearing more about starting a career in Germany at the Steinbeis University. Thank you for coming to Pakistan and visiting us at the iQualify campus. Oh, thank you guys for the invitation. It's been an amazing visit so far, especially the event today. It was really a great turnout. I was really glad to talk to all the students and had an amazing time. So thank you guys for the organization. You are everything. most welcome and we were really excited to also see the level of excitement that students have. Uh, you were able to speak to them about you know, starting a career at the Steinbeck University and we do have a lot of master's programs that you were speaking about. So let us just deep dive into this and yeah. just understand that uh, Steinbeck University, just a little bit of history, how old is the university, what mm -hmm. different programs are being offered. Yeah, sure, definitely. Uh, so the university itself goes back to around 150 years with the founder of the university. His name was Ferdinand von Steinbeis, and he was the guy who basically understood that education in the classroom needs to be transferred into practical experience in order for it to be worth something. So that's the way that we teach. We take our teachings from him, so to say, and all the students that join us then, um, you know, have this practical experience next to their studies. Uh, we offer, we rather we specialize in PG programs, so we have the MSc in Business Management, the MBA program within where you can specialize as well, and the MA in Business and Organizational Psychology. Excellent, that's fantastic. And, and you know the sphere of programs that you're talking about, um, I'm pretty sure that internationally as well, there are a lot of specializations as well. Mm -hmm. So what, is, what are some of the specializations that you offer under the programs? Mm -hmm. Uh, so for the MSc, we have Management and Innovation. I always recommend this to students who are kind of trying to orient themselves in a very compact world of study programs, so to say. Maybe ones with a very specific background, etc. Otherwise, we have the most popular study program, of course, the specialization in data analytics and artificial intelligence. Excellent. If we talk about Chap uh, GPT, for example, that took the world by storm just a couple Absolutely, of months ago, yeah. etc. Uh, digital transformation and digital marketing, something that will always remain relevant in the future. So these are the four main specializations of the MSc. Otherwise, we have many, you know, countless specializations for the MBA as well. Excellent. And I was just also going through some of the uh, uh, um, disciplines that you had spoken mm -hmm. about. And we saw that in the MBA, there was like around what? seven, eight specializations that we're offering. Exactly, exactly. A a and some of them also being around data analytics, etc. Um, do you have a lot of international students as well that are joining in at the Steinbeis University? And what are some mm -hmm. of the uh, support structures that you're offering them? Yeah, definitely. So we are an international university and because we do offer English speaking programs, yeah. most of our students are internationals. We do have Germans as well on the campus, you know, they study in the German language programs mostly, uh, but you know, English education for Germans in Germany is actually becoming more popular as well. Uh, so all of our international students come from all around the world. We have students from the US, many parts of Africa, South Asia, uh, Eastern Asia as well, Eastern Europe, you know, really from everywhere. And it's really cool actually because it's kind of like a mini world on one campus. So yeah. everybody comes from, you know, a different background. They share their own different cultures, their languages. Uh, we always sometimes plan international dinners, for example, where we get to, you know, taste test food from yeah. the other areas. <laughs> uh, so it's a very great atmosphere on the campus. Uh, of course, you know, being an international student, it's, it can be difficult at the beginning. It's scary for many people. Mm. And I made this experience myself coming from the U.S. to Germany as an international student. Yeah. That means there needs to be a lot of support from beginning to the end, right? Sure. So when it comes to us, our entire staff are international students, or they used to be at least, uh, ranging from Indonesia to Portugal, myself, the U.S., etc., South Africa, India all of these different countries so we know what it takes or what you need to know in order to adjust well to the culture. Right, right. So we support the students of course from the beginning of the application process all the way to their visa and orientation week on campus so they can easily orient, orient themselves in the city etc. Everything from health insurance to 
where to buy, find the best food in Berlin, mm. things like this, there's discussed. In Excellent, and I think with the most exciting bit that you're saying that this is a completely English taught program because for a lot of international students uh, moving to a new country where they feel that you know there has is going to be a certain level of a language requirement, mm -hmm. um, you're saying that you know that's a hundred percent English taught program that answers one of the questions. I think the next questions that a student might have would be that what are my uh, uh, working opportunities. Where do I find work? Where do I find placements? Uh, right. um, does the Stainways University help students out with placement opportunities as well? Mm -hmm. Definitely. So of course when students go abroad to study, of course they want to study, they want to have a good degree, but the main goal is to land a job later on that is, you know, in the area that they were dreaming of, etc., in a country that, you know, they have more opportunities in. And as an international student, adjusting to this whole new workplace, this new market can be quite difficult. It was for me, for example, at the beginning as well. So this is something that we do through the purpose path, so we call it at Steinbeis, our career preparation program, mm -hmm. where from day one when the student arrives on campus, we have individual trainings with our career experts. Uh, we help them by kind of helping them orient themselves into the German job market. Where do they see themselves? What are their strengths? What are their weaknesses? Which trainings do they need to take mm. part in in order to better their profile? And finally, we do have more than 200 plus industry partners in Germany Excellent. with offices abroad. Exactly, it's, it's really brilliant, great. Brilliant. So oftentimes they might work at you know one of these industry partners, they can transfer offices. So we definitely help them. It's one of our top priorities. Brilliant. So I think I think job search for any international student would be the hardest thing. Like you're mentioning that yeah. it was hard in your uh, time as well when you were studying here. Um, I, I want to ask now about the visa process. Generally, mm -hmm. uh, how easy or how difficult it is for somebody from Pakistan who wants to apply to Steinbeis? Um, mm -hmm. Is the German visa, what category of visa do they get? Do they get a student visa? And then what is the possibility of perhaps, let's say if a student is unable to complete during the two uh, years duration, the studies, do they get an extension? Can they apply for an extension? Mm -hmm. Do they get a work permit? Um, how does it go? Yeah, definitely. So. As I mentioned before, also, you know, to the students as well, this is a huge fear for many people. Yeah. And luckily, Germany does have very lax visa laws, so it makes it very easy to receive a student visa. Uh, the visa requirements are different in Pakistan. So in Karachi, for example, they're a little bit easier than they are in Islamabad. Mm -hmm. In general, however, students should have an IELTS exam. Yeah. And they should definitely have a bachelor's degree for the majority of our subjects that we do offer, right? Uh, when it comes to waiting times in Karachi, it's about one to two months, so it is quite, you know, quite... Um, pretty sorry, reasonable. Yeah, exactly, yeah. pretty yeah. reasonable. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to Islamabad, it can take a little bit longer, of course, but we also have options for those students as well. So we do support them, we provide any needing documents that they have. They can always call their personal study advisor, so it's mm. important to know that every student has one person sitting in Germany that's, you know, processing their application, helping them with queries, things like this. Uh, once a student does graduate from Steinbeis, they receive an automatic 18-month stay-back visa option. Excellent. Exactly, so yeah. it's one and a half years in order to find a job. Yeah. Once they do find employment then, they can simply move this into a work visa, so it's quite easy. Yeah. And we have a really exciting statistics that you were sharing with everybody earlier as well, mm -hmm. that uh, the Steinbeis University graduates usually find work in six months. Exactly, and six months is around the average time for international students Brilliant. in Germany in general, so it does go very quick. Yeah, I'm sure. When by that time you could, you know, easily uh, take any of the trainings that the placement uh, department is and the career advisor is actually Correct. suggesting for you, so you find uh, your comfort zone. Brilliant. Uh, we're talking about now the um, on campus. L let us move on and just talk about that. There is an online provision as well exactly. for the three qualifications, as we understand. Uh, my answer and a question in that is that: Do you offer the same kind of support to the online students as well? Because that mm -hmm. is generally, you know, one of the things that, you know, at the bachelor's level, perhaps, you know, we were okay studying uh, an online yeah. degree, but <laughs> with the master's, you want that kind of campus uh, environment, you want that kind of interaction with the teachers, with counselors. Correct. So at Steinbeis, what is the online provision like and what is the support that you offer to your online students? Yeah, definitely. So online is a very big word and most people understand online is that they're sitting alone in their room yeah. just studying <laughs> and after the pandemic, no Nobody wants this anymore. Nobody wants to sit anymore, yeah. <laughs> we're yes. tired of screens, we're tired of Zoom meetings, all yeah. these different things. So yes, it is mainly an online platform. We have our own platform, Insider, where the students complete levels. Mm -hmm. So it's level-based. You have two modules a month that are free. 
and then in the next month another two will be freed up. And then you go through the different levels, do the assignments, etc. And then you keep moving on. So it's a little bit like a game even almost. That's what I hear from many of excellent, our students. It's excellent. fun, it's motivating. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the biggest part about it is that you are supported. So you're not alone in your room, you know, trying to figure everything out your own. We have different sessions with fellow students around the world. So yeah. a student studying in Pakistan would also connect to students in the US, in Germany, in China, wherever they're coming from. Uh, we have, you know, um, sessions with the professors, with the uh, tutors, with supporters, things like this, and somebody who is really helping them 24-7 in case of any issues they might be facing, etc. Yeah. Uh, there's also no deadlines, so we understand that those that in the online studies might be working professionals, yeah. they might have families, things like this. Absolutely. It can be difficult to organize your studies around that. So there aren't deadlines, so to say. Of course, we encourage students to please keep up with the program as best program, as possible. Absolutely. We support them in it. Uh, but in the end, it's really go at your own pace. And when you need the extra support, please let us know. Great. A personal question now. Yeah, sure. Since you have been an international student in Germany yeah. and, now, and now you're living there as well, um, how comfortable is uh, you know staying in Germany as a resident? How would you classify your experience like? How has it been for you? Yeah, definitely. So uh, as you know, I'm from the US originally. I come from Detroit, which is in the north of the yeah. US. Um, I moved when I was 17 actually, so I was still quite young yeah. Yeah. and uh, I did my bachelor's, my master's and I would say really from the time I landed in Germany it was a completely different world, mm -hmm. indescribable really. Uh, quality of life, so you know, not only when it comes to public transport, you can go from the smallest village to the biggest city easily. Uh, cities are extremely safe, they're clean, yeah. we have a huge social system, so I can go to any doctor at any time. Mm -hmm. uh, max prescription is 5 euros if you do end up getting sick, so yeah. there's a lot of security blanket. Um, there's a lot uh, that are benefits, I would say, that come with living there. Uh, in general, and that's one thing that many students are afraid of, of course, about Germany. What about the German language? Yeah, what about the language? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Is it hard to learn? Yeah. For me personally, it took around 10 months. So 10 months until I knew basic conversational German, etc. And it only gets better from then on. So if you speak English, you can listen to Germans and you'll get a lot of what they are saying just from English because the words are quite similar. Yeah. Grammar can be a little bit more complicated, but hmm. the more time you're there, the more you immerse yourself in the culture, then the easier it gets. Great, excellent. And I, I think I think uh, you, you really mentioned really nicely that, um, you know, there's a lot of things to do as well. There's a yeah. lot of travel to other countries. Do you travel a lot to All other countries? Time. Yeah. All the time, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you should take a, you go, take a train and go and what, what countries, nearby countries have you visited? What places have you Oof, gone to? Yeah, definitely. So I've been to almost, I shouldn't say almost, I've European country but definitely to France for example France mm -hmm. is only about an hour and a half away by train from where I live yeah. Belgium is 45 minutes yeah. London if you take a flight is an hour yeah. uh, Poland is super close to Berlin for example so I mean Europe, uh, if you compare to Pakistan, the other day I flew from Karachi here to Islamabad, yeah. two hours. Two hours. <laughs> and I didn't expect this at all, it was yeah. really shocking. Yeah. In two hours you're already, you know, if you fly, for example, from Berlin, you're already in Rome, which is a completely new culture, a new language, new atmosphere, food. Yeah. So traveling is extremely easy and it's mm. also cheap. Mm. So we have something, for example, that a lot of students take, is called Flixbus. Mm -hmm. You can go from Paris, for example, all the way to Cologne, which is a large city in mm. Germany, for mm. 10, 15 Euros. So yeah. we have a lot of different public transport methods that you can see Europe for, for cheap. Excellent, yeah. excellent. One question that I believe every Pakistani would ask you, how's the food like? Oof, in Germany. All right, so this <laughs> this might be the disappointing part maybe for you guys. <laughs> I always say students who leave, uh, leave Pakistan for Germany are kind of crazy because yeah. the food here, oof, I love it. You I loved love it? it? I Amazing. love Pakistani All right, food. Great. German food is okay, so I mean you can find a lot of good cuisine, but again here we're in the heart of Europe, right? So that means it's not only German food, so you have Italian food, you yeah. have French food, yeah. food from the UK which is yeah. also yeah. arguably yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, but in Berlin for example is a super international city, Munich is a super international city, so you have tons of food opportunities. Especially for students coming from Pakistan, yeah. often they have, they would like, you know, a halal, halal diet. Halal food, yes. And we have this as well. So there's a large Turkish community within Germany as Great. well. So there's a lot of halal food options for them. Excellent. Now the important bit, and I think that should be our last question also. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the entry intakes? Uh, when are the admissions open? Right now the admissions, what uh, is it the session? Which session is it open for? 
Right, exactly. Uh, so next week we're actually opening our new semester. So I'll fly to Berlin, we'll have our orientation week with the new students. The next upcoming semester for the programs will be October in Berlin and November in Munich. Right. But starting 2024, however, we will have a study start every two months. Oh, excellent. Exactly. And this is really important because sometimes students do have to wait for their visa yeah. or there's something that happens in the family, they have to delay their study start. Yeah. A lot of students are you know, used to deferring for six months. That can be frustrating. Mm. And we don't want that. So we want to make sure we give the students the opportunity to start whenever they can. So next year, every two months. Otherwise, the next main intake will then be October in Berlin, November in Munich. Great. Brilliant. So that's six, exam, uh, six entries throughout the year, which Correct. is great. Uh, Michael, where can any student who wants to reach out to you, they can for surely reach out to I Qualify UK here as well and our Definitely. team here as well. If they want to have any kind of queries, where can they reach out to you? Perfect. Yeah. Uh, so you can always visit our website. We have all of our contact data there. Otherwise, my personal email m.johnson at steinbeiss-smi.de. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm at WhatsApp as well so I can share my number for any students that are interested. And uh, we also have a student advisory email that is uh, taken care of by all of our study advisors. We're there 24 seven so they can reach out in any way. Uh, otherwise, here based in, in Islamabad, especially, we have my colleague, Salan Katak. Mm. Uh, he's there for any student queries as well. So you have somebody here in Pakistan directly besides the iQualify team. That excellent, can, you know. excellent. No, it was a pleasure having you here. And we look forward to a lot of interest from the students at the Stanbaz University and hope to see a lot of Pakistanis there at your campuses I as well. I hope so too. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you very much. Shukriya. I appreciate it. Danke. Oh, <laughs> sehr gerne. Sehr gerne.